All right, here we go. Another episode of Their House. Stepdaughter Jessica once again needs something from me. Uh, she could probably do this herself, but I thought I'd make it a video. Uh, we have this old ottoman. Let's see if I can turn this around and show you. There is the bottom that I've already taken off. Now it just screwed into the bottom of this ottoman, which we now have upside down. The material on it is just jacked up and old, and it's that microfiber suede stuff. It's just stained. They say microfiber doesn't sw doesn't doesn't stain. It's a lie. It's a straight lie. Anyway, this is the material she picked out. Now this material, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's reversible. You can see the colors on that side, and then the colors on this side. So we're using this side. So I've got it turned upside down on the floor. And I have the ottoman turned upside down on the floor. So what we're going to be doing with this, you can see this is stitched as a cushion uh, right there. And then this goes around it. We're going to just be covering this entire thing. And then I'll put the base back on. It's going to be real quick, real easy. All you do is wrap it around, pull it tight, staple it, put the base back on, you're done. Let's get started. <laughs> At this point, I've got one side stapled and I've got the length of the other side stapled. You end up with this extra material and everybody's like, okay, what do you do with the corners? Well, you don't want to do this and leave this fold on the outside. You can, I mean, if you like that, if you, if you think that looks good, but, and I probably went a little bit too far to the corner here, but what I'm going to try and do is first pull this up and just cut off a little bit of exit, leave a little extra, but cut off the excess up here just to get that out of the way. All right, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack on it, but all that extra material is really going to get in the way. All right, so then uh, I'm going to go first and find sort of the middle of this fold right here. And I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to fold it. That way you're doubling your strands that your staple's going through. And I'm going to try and pull that corner fairly tight. And that is going to be where that gets stapled. Then I'll end up working these back in. And again, I'm gonna have to remove some staples. So if you come around this side, maybe you can see, I'm gonna tuck this back inside. And again, I'll have to cut a little bit of the slack off as I go and play with it. But ultimately at the end of it, I want my folds inside like that. And then I'll end up pulling this up here and it'll make it kind of tight like that so that my inner material is here and then my fold is there and my extra material is going on the inside, if that makes sense. Okay, so we'll work on that. That is a finished corner. It's nice and tight and pulled in. These are just tucked in, tucked in, and I actually stapled them back in here before I restapled at the top. And this staple at the top, you could tell, I pulled again and retightened up here. Now we're going to be going in with these nail heads. Decorative nail heads, decorative tacks, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, we'll be putting those in here along the border. So then that'll tighten that up even more and make that corner look like that. Nice and tidy. Tight, 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 yeah! Yep. We're watching Castle. Sorry. Okay, back to the ottoman. Anyway, here's how the corners turned out. We think Juanita. Sweet. Medina cell phone. All right, corners are good. Now I'm for the nail heads. Here's the math, basically. We got 44 inches long, and you know, I didn't even measure the width. Anyway, we figured out 
Yeah, it's, it's what was it, 20, 20 inches or something like that? 20 inches wide. Okay, mm -hmm. so we got 44 on the long side. We have 48 nail heads. We figured out that 17 on one long side and 17 long on the other long side is 34. That would leave us 14 nail heads. So it would be 7 on one short side and 7 on the other. So the ratio of 17 to 7 is roughly 2 and a half, right? Because 7 times 2 would be 14 plus 3. So, so on the 44-inch side, we're going to be doing 17 nail heads. That's 16 spaces in between. So you don't divide 44 by 17. You divide 44 by the 16 spaces in between the 17 nail heads on the side. When you divide 44 by 16, you get 2.75, which is 2 and 3 quarter inches in between each nail head. Now, the thing is that you're not going to put your nail heads directly on the corner. You're going to move it in just a little bit. All right, so now I'm driving in the tax. A little math correction. What I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see these or not, but I got little black dots that are made with a Sharpie. I set this one first and this one first on the ends, and then I pulled the measurement between them, which was 40 inches. 40 divided by 16 spaces came out to be exactly two and a half inches. So I pulled the tape measure across here, made a mark every two and a half inches. Now I'm just going along and driving in these tacks, which is extremely hard, and I have my little girls almost toy hammer that I'm using as a tack hammer. It's Barbie hammer. It is a Barbie hammer. Yeah. And I put the, yes, Barbie hammer. So then I put the tack in and try not to nail your finger. And then you want to drive it in nice and tight until it's against the wood. There's a wood panel in here. So you can see how that's making a nice finished button tufted look right along there. And that makes every man in the USA very happy. And you know that's right.